is our, our, our laser system here. It's uh, 800 nanometers. We use a seed laser, and then it goes in, and we have some uh, some diodes that pump the system. And uh, our pulse length, I, I don't really know the details. I don't work on the laser at all. But um, yeah, we use we use the laser on multiple different experiments. If you see here, the color coordination represent each different experiment line. So, uh, for example, the, ter the terahertz setup over there uses the yellow, uh, the yellow line. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that bounces around, and then there's a mirror that drops in there that sends it down over uh, over to that setup over there. Um, we have the capability to make uh, ultraviolet light through uh, some frequency doubling crystals. Over there, some alpha BBO crystals. Uh, well. Here's one right here, and then um, let's see. it's changed since I've been down here last. But uh, yeah, here's the second one. So the UV uh, we used to send upstairs. We have a DC electron beam, 30 kilovolt um, gun that I run uh, that we used to use UV for. Now we use IR, but uh, we can send, for example, on the orange line here, we can send infrared upstairs to my DC uh, beam lines as well. And then over here, you see the port into the Pegasus control room uh, chamber, which I will show, which we'll go in there next. But uh, yeah, we can send infrared and ultraviolet through there as well. Um, now, I don't work on the terahertz setup at all. Uh, I know very little about it, but I, and the person who does know a lot about it is, uh, she's out of town on vacation. Um, but as far as I understand, uh, we send, um, the IR in through here, and then there's a crystal right here, which uh, the oblique angle, it comes in at a some oblique angle, and um, this is for cooling the crystal down with uh, liquid nitrogen. So you can pour liquid nitrogen in there, and then uh, it cools the crystal, and the uh, terahertz is sent through a pair of uh, uh, off-axis parabolic mirrors then uh, measured with some device here, and that's the extent of my knowledge on the setup.